seriously, absolutely need to make changes. Like, now. Get my shit together. Um, I haven't filmed an update um, on my postpartum anxiety since, well, actually the first video that I've um, published on YouTube. So I figured this would be a good time uh, to give you guys an update because I've received a lot of messages. Um, Caroline, you look tired. Um, you haven't been wearing makeup in your uh, videos. What's going on? Has your postpartum anxiety gotten worse? So I am happy to say um, I've actually gotten a lot better uh, with my postpartum anxiety, or at least I'd like to think so. I definitely have come a long way. I'm a little bit more relaxed in terms of my anxiety or the fear of Gabriella or the girls getting hurt. It's still there, but it's definitely uh, man manageable. Um, the last few months, there were some evenings that I didn't um, give bats to Gabriella, and if you guys remember from uh, my first video, if we went off schedule, I would actually like actually lose it. Like it would throw me completely off. I would have a bad night. Um, so yes, it has gone better. I can't say it's completely gone. Um, I can't even say that it's considered postpartum anxiety anymore. I think it's more anxiety in, in general. Um, so I am still working on it. Um, as I do believe if, you know, if you don't work on yourself, um, there's a potential that, you know, mental health illnesses always come back. Um, but to answer uh, your question, as I did, yes, no, my postpartum anxiety has gotten a lot better. Um, some days are harder than others, but yes, I'm on the right track of getting better. Now, in terms of looking tired in my videos and not wearing makeup and, and such, it has been, um, and I'm going to be brutally honest here, it has been a hell of a three months. It, I, it's been bad. It's been bad in terms of work-life balance, um, the projects that us as a family that had to deal with uh, constructions, financials, um, it's, it's, it's been hard. Um, Mark being away um, a lot the last few months, um, so it, it, like I've also been running solo a lot more often than I typically would. Um, I can't really go into details in terms of the work-life balance, but I do have to say, um, yes, my postpartum anxiety has gotten a lot better, but because of everything that's been going on, um, just everything around me, I have been feeling like uh, the wall, the walls are closing down on, uh, closing on me. Um, I'm dealing with uh, a little bit of imposter sh syndrome. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Imposter syndrome is, you know, having absolutely no confidence. Uh, the ability of, you know, getting stuff accomplished and doing things right is, or you think that, like, pretty much everybody is has a target on you, that you can't um, be as good or work as adequately as the next person. Um, unfortunately, I am uh, struggling with that. I'm being extremely hard on myself. Um, it's I'm completely burning myself out. Um, I'm constantly trying to go over and beyond and try to compensate for this imposter syndrome uh, with work and life and trying to make everybody happy so much that I'm not making myself uh, happy at the moment at all. It's been quite difficult. So 
Uh, the self-care is definitely out the door currently. Um, I do acknowledge all of this. I do. Um, and yes, I absolutely need to do something about it. I'm not happy uh, in the current situation I'm in. Um, uh, the, some of it has been self-inflicted, like self-sabotaging, self and some of it, um, the people I deal with around me has uh, created um, this tension and stress and uh, unnecessary, um, I guess, negativity to say. It's hard to explain as I can't go into details uh, about everything. But I do acknowledge uh, what I'm going through right now. Um, and I'm trying to really, really hard to break out of it. Um, as if you guys know, if you went through any sort of mental, mental health issues or, you know, a situational uh, depression. or It's really hard to, like, wrap your head around it and, like... Um, to get out of it it's it's definitely a hill and if you're already exhausted and tired and you're feeling so negatively about your yourself it's really hard to get out of it but so um so I am planning on making a few changes some are small some are quite big um, I think these changes are going to be absolutely uh, necessary um, and hopefully it will be impactful on my life for the better um, but yeah so that is where I'm at I apologize and like even my last few videos that I've posted um they've been and, and i'm gonna be completely honest with you they've been the lack of effort in those videos actually disappoint me now that i watch them um i think for me it was just trying to keep up with everything i'm doing and again trying not to disappoint anybody in my life um so I just feel like I'm just like, just constantly afloat, right? And just trying to uh, please everybody. But, um, and I'm just kind of rambling right now. I don't even know where I was going with that. I just, I know my head's not, my head is all over the place. It's my head, I'm running with my head cut off right now. Um, and I just seriously, absolutely need to make changes, like now. Um, it's definitely a vis vicious cycle. I don't like to be in a vis vicious cycle. I feel stuck. I'm tired. Um, I want to put makeup on again and feel confident. I want to do my hair and feel confident. I want to be able to do my job in confidence. I want to be able to be a mom in confidence and not second doubt, not doubt myself every step of the way because of the life events that have occurred uh, these past three months. Um, and, and I'm actually upset at myself for not being stronger than I am right now because I have come a long way with my postpartum anxiety and, and, you know, I do have the the, the coping skills, but unfortunately I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not implementing them currently and so I need to wrap my head, get my shit together. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for that, but that is, that is why I look like I do in my recent videos. Uh, um, but I am happy to say my postpartum anxiety has been good for a while now. And it, it feels great to say that. Um, I was worried that um, that's something I would have to have dealt with 
for a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry if this was a lot of rambling and too raw for people and I don't know. Um, but yes, that is why <laughs> this, that, this is what's going on. I don't know what to say. I, I'm laughing right now because that's all I need. To, I'm, I'm really good at being quiet right now and laughing at everything because I'm so done. <laughs> um, but yes. Anyways, that is that. Hopefully I answered your question. I might have said more than what you guys bargained for but that is where I'm at with things um, but I will redeem myself I will I just I need to figure it out I really really need to figure it out anyways I hope you guys have a good great rest of the week and we will see you soon